The MISOG series of manned portable air defense systems represents Iran's domestic efforts to develop an effective, lightweight, and highly mobile surface-to-air missile system. Developed by the Shahid Kazemi Industrial Complex in Tehran, the MISOG-1 was first produced in May 1993 as an indigenous version of the Chinese QW-1 Vanguard missile, itself derived from the Russian SA-16 Gimlet. Over time, Iran introduced the improved MISOGA-2 to enhance its air defense capabilities. The MISOGA-1, like its Chinese predecessor, is a passive infrared homing missile designed to engage low-altitude aerial threats such as jets, helicopters, and drones. With a maximum speed of Mach 2.6 and an operational range of 5 kilometers, it can provide rapid reaction capability to ground troops and strategic positions. Its 1.42 kg warhead, coupled with an impact fuse, ensures effectiveness against aircraft by maximizing the potential for structural damage upon detonation. The weapon system consists of a missile in a disposable launch tube, a grip stock firing unit, and a replaceable battery coolant unit, all of which are easily transportable by infantry units. The MISAW-2 introduced in 2006 represents a more advanced version of the original system. It features a dual-band infrared seeker with enhanced resistance to countermeasures such as flares and electronic jamming, making it more effective in modern electronic warfare conditions. It also boasts a higher speed of Mach 2.8 and an extended engagement range of 6 kilometers. Additionally, its improved target acquisition and guidance system provide greater accuracy against maneuvering targets. Both MISA variants have seen deployment in various theaters. Reports indicate that MISA-1 missiles were discovered in insurgent arms caches in Iraq, with suggestions that they were smuggled into the country with Iranian assistance. The system has likely been provided to Iranian-aligned militant groups in the Middle East, including Hezbollah and Houthi forces in Yemen, contributing to asymmetric warfare strategies by, off by offering non-state actors a credible defense against aerial threats. Iran's use of the Mossad missile family aligns with its broader military doctrine, which emphasizes self-sufficiency in weapons development, asymmetric warfare, and strategic deterrence. By producing indigenous manpads, Iran reduces reliance on foreign suppliers and bolsters its ability to equip both its own forces and allied militias with effective air defense systems. These weapons serve as a crucial element in Iran's layered air defense network, complementing its more advanced radar-guided and long-range missile systems. In comparison to regional competitors, the Masaga series is roughly on par with Pakistan's Anza Mac 2 and Anza Mac 3 manpads, which are also based on Chinese designs. However, Iran's system remains technologically inferior to the latest Russian Igla S and American FIM 92 Stinger missiles, which possess superior guidance systems, greater resistance to countermeasures, and longer effective ranges. Despite these limitations, the Masag series provides Iran with a cost-effective and widely deployable solution for defending against low-altitude air threats. Iran's defense strategy is shaped by the country's geopolitical landscape, its historical conflicts, and its long-standing opposition to Western influence in the region. The development of the Masag series is part of a broader effort to establish self-reliance in defense technology, a priority for Tehran since the Iran-Iraq War, 1980-1988. Manpads like the MISUG-1 and MISUG-2 are particularly important in Iran's defensive network because they provide a decentralized and mobile air defense capability. Unlike fixed-site air defense systems, which are vulnerable to preemptive strikes, manpads can be distributed across a wide range of locations, enhancing their survivability in conflict scenarios. Furthermore, Iran's emphasis on asymmetric warfare has led to the strategic dissemination of the Masag series among proxy forces across the Middle East. By supplying groups such as Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Houthis with these manpads, Iran seeks to impose a greater cost on adversaries conducting aerial operations in contested zones. This distribution aligns with Iran's broader military policy of using non-state actors to challenge superior military forces indirectly.
While the Misak series is fundamentally based on older Chinese technology, Iran has made incremental improvements to enhance their effectiveness. The Misaga 2's dual-band infrared seeker improves its ability to track and engage targets under adverse conditions, making it more resistant to flares and infrared jamming. Additionally, its slightly extended range allows Iranian forces to cover larger areas with fewer missile systems. Iran is also rumored to be working on further advancements in MANPADS technology, potentially developing a MISA-3 or equivalent system with greater resistance to countermeasures and improved engagement capabilities. A key area of focus appears to be software enhancements to the guidance system, allowing for, for better discrimination between intended targets and decoys. Another possibility is the integration of improved propulsion systems to extend the range and speed of future models. The presence of MISA man pads in regional conflicts has raised concerns among Western military analysts. The discovery of MISAG-1 missiles in Iraq, reportedly supplied to insurgent forces, demonstrated Iran's willingness to arm non-state actors with advanced air defense capabilities. Similarly, the supply of these systems to Hezbollah and Houthi fighters has provided these groups with a credible deterrent against aerial attacks by Israeli and Saudi forces, respectively. In the Syrian civil war, reports indicate that Iranian-supplied manpads, including the Misad II, have been used against opposition forces and, in some cases, against coalition aircraft. The, the proliferation of these weapons poses a challenge for modern air forces operating in the region, as even a limited number of manpads can significantly impact the effectiveness of air superiority operations. The ability of MISAG armed groups to challenge drone surveillance and close air support missions forces adversaries to adopt higher altitude flight patterns or deploy countermeasure systems, increasing operational complexity. As the MISAG series continues to be distributed among Iranian allies and military forces, countermeasures are evolving in response. Modern air forces have developed improved counter-manpads technology, such as directional infrared countermeasures, DRCM, and flare dispensers, to reduce the threat posed by infrared-guided missiles. Additionally, intelligence operations aimed at intercepting weapon shipments have sought to limit the proliferation of Iranian manpads in conflict zones. Nevertheless, the increasing sophistication of manpads means that even older models like the MISAG-1 remain relevant. Their simplicity, ease of use, and relatively low cost make them a persistent threat to both military and civilian aviation in contested regions. Looking ahead, Iran's continued investment in indigenous missile development suggests that more advanced versions of the MISAG system could emerge, further complicating air defense strategies in the Middle East. The Misaga air defense system plays a significant role in Iran's strategy of countering aerial threats through indigenous production and strategic distribution. While not the most advanced manpads available, its combination of mobility, affordability, and effectiveness against low-altitude targets ensures that it remains a key component of Iran's air defense doctrine, particularly in the context of asymmetric warfare and regional conflicts. Iran's ability to improve upon existing designs and distribute these systems to allied forces underscores its commitment to sustaining a robust and adaptable air defense capability, reinforcing its influence in the region's ongoing security dynamics.